are going into Galveston Island State Park. Uh, we are going to try to see if they'll let us drive through. Without, without a fee. Without a fee, yeah. So, we'll find out. <laughs> Real shortly here. Through here and show you around. It looks like they have um, quite a few sites. I'm trying to see how many exactly. It looks like they have uh, like 125 sites all together. And uh, one, two, three loops. I guess this is the dump station That's that we just, station, just yeah. passed by. We're going to go through uh, the first loop here, sites 1 through 16. Let's pull okay. through here and see what oh. they look like. Okay. And this looks like water and electric sites. I don't yeah, there's no sewer sites along in this one. Um, these are, like it, it said, sites 1 through... It, it's 16. Just, well... Um, that's what the that's where we're at now, one through sixteen. Okay. Got nice little covers. Yeah. Covered picnic areas at each site, which is really nice. The ped the electric pedestals are very nice with the lights on them. And this you can walk down. They've got a uh, beach access right back there with little pavilions for picnic or whatever. Right here we're approaching looks like the showers and the restrooms. And these this site here, I can't okay, twenty six. This is site twenty six. They do have sewer at these sites. Um, or at least why is that one or two there did have? Well it might have been a campground host there. Ah, because the rest of them yeah. don't look like it. Site eight and site twenty five are campground hosts which have Full hookup, but water and electric these, on the other ways. Yeah, these are all electric um, and water. Yeah, I'm trying to see what the sites 29, full. 28, 27 on the left hand side here. You know, I don't know if they have any sewer sites here. Well, we'll, we'll just find out. Now we're going to go down campsites 37 to 70. Looks like a big area here. All nicely paved. And lots of grassy area in between. And this, yeah, the sites are very well spaced out. All concrete. Yeah, and you do, you're not right on top of your neighbor. And you do have a covered area, so if the weather is in climate or you just want a little bit of shade, you can go put set your grill up underneath the little pavilions that they have along here. This is this is very nice. I've not seen a state park that has this kind of offerings with little lean-tos. I mean, and they're not much, but at least it gives you cover, and you can set up your camp underneath without having to dismantle it and take it down if you've got like a portable tent or an awning. But yeah, I think all of these sites are water and electric. Some of them got little patios beside them there too. Again, this is the showers and the restrooms. We can't show you the showers and the restrooms. Yeah, we're we're supposed to stay in the car. We can't touch it. has got a 20 minute <laughs> pass, that's what we got. Yeah. This uh, may be the tent area. Campsite yeah, it looks it looks like it is. No, seventy one to eighty five looks like tent area there. But that's uh, nothing special about that. 
you just pitch your tent on a grassy area. You got a picnic table and a fire box, and that's it. Okay, and down here. Now here's campsites 86 to 95. Let's take a ride down there. This is tent or RV, but no hookups. Oh, I mean, no hook. This is dispersed camping at its yeah. best. You have nice concrete slabs to park on, pads. Yeah. But no, no, no hook hookups no at all. No hookups at all, no. And it says allows tents and RVs. And RVs, yeah. So the cost is probably the least here we'll get because there's cost. no, no hookups. Yeah, we'll get those prices in a little bit for you. So. So this is site 91, 92, and then on down, 93, 94. This is just like a little alcove of its own. Tenter RV, no hookups. And there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten sites in that little row there but and no this, hookups. This is a turnaround at the end of the road. Well, um, we missed sites 100 through 125. I went down every row, honey. Well, did you see site 126 or? Well, did you? Or, no. Well, I don't know. I was just, I'm the driver. Okay. Let's pan over that way to show you the dispersed camping area or the non-hookups. Well, it's actually very nice though, very nice. Not a shade tree in sight, but it's nice. But if you're just looking, if you have a generator or you just don't want any hookups, then this might be for you. We're pampered though, or spoiled. Yeah, we need uh, at least water and electric for the most part. I mean, we have dry camped a few times, and, and it's it's fine. Sometimes we've dry camped in some beautiful places. Yeah, well, like in South Dakota up on yeah. the mountain there. Mm -hmm. I want to show you the tent area here. Do a little pull in on that. As you can see, the tent area is, uh, like Deb says, nothing but uh, a grassy. flat flat grassy pieces of ground there with uh, picnic table and picnic fire table. ring. Yeah, picnic table and fire ring. It does the job for folks. Pan over a little bit to see the uh, campsites up that way, RV sites. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any full hookup in here. We're going to research that and give it, uh, give you more information and I wrap up on this park. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure where these other sites are. We went through every one of them, Deborah. Uh -huh. And there were sites in the hundred? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. there's one, there's 17. Yeah, but I'm looking for sites 106 through 125. 17 through 36 there. I think those was your 10 areas on those sites, Debbie. Those right there? No. See, it's, that says water and electric. Water and electric. This is 10 sites. Well, I'll turn around and see if we can... It, can you... Did we go down this way? Yes, ma'am. Okay. This is our first road we went down. Okay. Okay, so sites 17 through 36. Okay. See that on your map? No. This map is kind of funky like a monkey. Yeah. Yeah. I see one through sixteen. And here's thirty-seven through seventy. Thirty-seven through seventy. Well it I got thirty-seven through sixty-one. Okay, yeah, I see seventy. But yeah, they do have 
Park Coast, which have full hookups on 8 and 25. And 71 through 85 is the 10 area. Nope, it ain't it. So if you tell me which way to go, I'll be, <laughs> be glad to oh, go. I don't know. It must be somewhere else. Oh, maybe right here? And we are... See how these two circles are here? Maybe that's where those are. I think we're about right down here to them. That was the dispersed camping. And that there's through 86 through 95. 86 through 95. Okay, and it's 96 through 105 is where I yet we haven't found. And this dead ends it's down dead there. It's dead ends. Well. Yeah, see if you can see it on this map. Can you pull over and just take a look? <clears throat> and there's a boardwalk that goes out. It's really nice too. It's concrete to a certain point and then wood that takes you right to the beach. And over there in the distance that might be a restroom and a shower. I don't I don't know. might be um, that where those lost sites are that we couldn't find. <laughs> Bathroom shower houses look really nice. Fresh concrete all over the place here. Yeah. Well, ap apparently not. These are not RV sites. These are sites. parking mm -hmm. for, for day use. Yeah. Yeah. All of those. Uh, and lean... this is why they charge $5 yeah. because you can take one of these, set up your picnic area, and spend time at the beach, and you have access to the amenities of the park, which include the showers and the restrooms, which is very nice. Yeah, and another concrete and uh, wooden boardwalk that goes all the way to the beach. Looks like that was our little tour of the Galveston Island State Park here and on Galveston Island. We'll uh, give you our thoughts and a wrap up here and let you know what we think of yeah. the Galveston area, and Galveston we'll, Island Park. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of show you the State map, park. show you the map, and you can choose for yourself where you think you might like to park, but. Um, I, I don't know. I, we never did find these sites 106 through 125. I don't know where they are. We went through what we thought was the entire park. So. And now we're leaving and we're on our way out. But it is a nice looking park. I must say that. Folks, we'll uh, talk to you all in just a minute. Okay, Galveston State Park is actually broken up into two sections. This is on the Bayside entrance, and there is a fee required as far as this. This is why we couldn't find the sites that we were looking. There's two large areas that accommodate camping, but they're in this side of the park, not the side that we were in. So we're going to try to tour this side and find those lost RV sites. Sites 106 through 125 and 96 through 105. 96 through 105 are tent camping. Park Ranger Center. Somebody in here? Nobody's there return they're gone to lunch so it's free <laughs> well we got a little pass here 
wayside campsites, no vacancies. There's a dump station. So yes, I mean that wouldn't be there for if there weren't. Camp oh, there I see it. Let's see, oh, we're in here. I said do not go in there though unless you yep. got a reservation. There, there we go. Campsites. Campsites, 96 through 105, and these are tent camping, no hookups. Oh, but it's very nice. These are no hookups, but you have, again, those little lean-tos that you can, but these don't have the concrete slabs underneath them. They just have a picnic table and firing, um, and you're just on a, a grassy area. Like on a round cul-de-sac. And the restroom's right in the right, center. Right in the center. And it looks yeah. really nice. And nice bay views here all around. A lot of tents, but no folks. And then we go down a little bit, and that's going to be sites 106. I see, I see tent can't, RV, RV down here. Yeah. To the left. We'll go down that way and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's 106. Oh, that's a lost site you're looking for? Yes. We just threw, went through one circle. Now that's the next circle. We're going to find and, them. And these are water and electric sites. They're, and they're for RVs. And there they are. Campsites. 106, 106 to 125. 125. Yep. sites have some well and they don't have the shower and the restroom in the middle like the other ones did because I guess they figure you have your own but there is like a group picnic area there that's sheltered site 122 is oh this is nice. nice they have really nice nice views, bay views bay, here yeah. yeah and water and electric hookup no sewer but they have a dump station so yeah these are these are quite nice concrete and a little bit of room in between about like where we are now but there it looks like it's newly paved the road here is nice and level and paved and the sites look very nice and level and they're concrete uh, they don't have fire rings but they do have picnic tables and water and electric, no sewer. And that was site sweat? That was 106 through 125. 106 through 125. This is mm -hmm. a dead end down that way. I think I'm going to go anyway. We have to turn around, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, it looks like this is like a boat launch or uh, fishing if you want to fish off of the pier. Fish cleaning station. Yay. Kayak launch. There was one of them in uh, Rockport. Remember yeah. when we took the dogs walking every day? It was Fish cleaning ones. station right there. Mm -hmm. And I don't I don't know if the camera picked it up, but there's an expansive view of the lake. Of I the, think our camera picked her yeah. up of the bay right there. It's really nice. Well, the mystery has been solved. We, we found fi the lost <laughs> sites. Yeah. They're just just that the campground is separated. There's two parts to it. A bay side and a, a oh. What do you call this side? Calvary. This is the bay side. The other side is seaside, isn't it? Beach side. Beach side. Beach side and bay side. Okay, we're going out of this park. We'll give you a wrap up, folks. Thanks for watching. Down below in the comments section, leave us a comment and tell us what you think of our adventure today. We'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, tap that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for bumming around with us today. Safe travels, and may the good Lord take a liking to you.